now i am going to show you how actually this system of bridge works you see that when i install bridge there were two options one is login and another another one is register if i want to register a user in this system what will happen for example i am going to create here to register a user in this system okay so here you see that there are total four fields name email password and confirm password now i am going to create a user here for example smith is a user uh, i am going to create a user here for example password is password and here is password now i am going to click on the register and you see that already a user is registered and automatically he is logged in here so if i go here in the users you see that another user comes that is smith this is customer because my default role as customer and he is inactive but a user added here right i did not apply any logic yet that if a user is inactive he cannot log in until he active so just uh, skip this now but you see that after just registration completed the user is logged in right and if you go here you will see that there is a profile and all the profile information user can change here if he wants uh, he want to change his name for example smith brand then click on save you see that the username is changed and if i go to refresh the user table you see that the name is changed that means the profile information works also there is a update password option and also there is a delete account option that means if a if a user wants to delete his account he can easily do this by clicking on this button if i click here then it is asking for me to give the password to delete his account so if you give the password i gave here and click on delete account his account is deleted and immediately he is logged out and now i see the login page again that means this page again and if i go here you will see that there is no user by the name smith so this is the default behavior right now i will log in in this system uh, as admin as vendor as customer etc so for this reason i will have to create controllers and views already there are controller and views by default but i want that if a user logged in as customer he will just logged in uh, in the default page that is showing here for example i am going to show customer and my password was on 234 if i log in you see that the customer is seeing the same profile information the same profile page right if i go to log out and now again log in as admin you see that this is the admin and then if i click on login you see that the admin is seeing the same page same attribute same layout but my target is i will take the admin to a separate place not here that means not in the default dashboard i will take the admin i want that if a user login as admin then he will be taken to another admin panel interface so in order to do that i will have to use a uh, system here and also i will have to create uh, middleware so that the roles are defined that means if the user is admin then he will be able to do some things that a user cannot do so before going there i am just going to start uh, with some basic works that means i am going to my terminal again and here i am going to clear i am going to close the cedar files and now here i will create view files first you see that in the resources views folder by default after uh, my bridge installation the auth folder is here and also the components were here layouts were here all these are the default layouts and there is also profile i am not going to task anything here for my task i am going to create here a new folder and i am going to give here a name that is admin in order to show you how it works i am going to create another one that is vendor that means there is the admin folder and there is a vendor folder in the admin folder i am going to create a file that is dashboard.blade.php that means a, if a person is logged in as the admin he will be taken to this dashboard so in order to check it i am just going to uh, may, uh, uh, write here something for example admin dashboard okay and in the vendor folder i am going to create 
another dashboard dashboard.blade.php that is actually the vendor dashboard so here i am going to write this is vendor this is vendor dashboard okay so if a user is logged in as admin he will be taken to this uh, dashboard blade file that means he will see the content of this space and if a user is logged in as a vendor he will see the content of this space that means this is a vendor dashboard so this these are my views okay and in the app http in the controllers the default controller is uh, given here that is actually the controllers for the uh, breeze system breeze authentication system controllers and this is the default controller file of laravel and this is the profile controller file that is under the breeze system now here i will create a controller okay and i will create a, an admin controller and a vendor controller so here i am going to write here that is php artisan make controller and I am going to create a folder here that is for example admin panel and here I will create that is admin controller. So a folder will create and an admin controller will come here admin panel admin controller sorry uh, my command was a bit problem I am going to remove it again here actually there will be hash admin panel then this one admin controller admin panel admin controller now it will work okay so admin panel and this is the admin co controller so admin controller is created successfully now i will write the same command but here this will be vendor controller so vendor controller and here instead of admin panel i am going to write vendor panel so for the admin panel task i create a folder that is admin panel all the admin controllers i will put here and for the vendor task i create another panel that is vendor panel and all the vendor controllers will be here okay so now i am going to make clear okay in the admin controller now i will call the view files so public function index and here i will call the blade file so that is return view and which view will be shown here that is you see here into the admin folder so i give the admin folder name and then dot file name that means dashboard so this one i hope you understand now i am going to copy this and do the same task for the vendor controller so in the vendor controller i am going to paste the code and here i call the vendor dot dashboard that means into the vendor folder this is the dashboard that i will call into the vendor controller now if i normally call the something but here before going there i am going to another place that is routes and this is the web route so in the web route you will see the course that are automatically uh, done by the breeze authentication that means these codes are extra codes by default when you create laravel then this code comes but all these items are coming because of breeze authentication okay after that i am going to create a middleware so i call here actually not create middleware here i call it but before going to do that i am going to one thing as i do not have any middleware yet so i just write like this so get so in order to access the files that means admin view files i will have to write something like this admin dashboard okay and here i will have to call the controller the controller is admin controller admin controller then class and i will have to call the method names here that is index okay so this one now i am going to copy this and for the vendor i call here the vendor dashboard and here the controller i will call that is vendor controller and this is the index file again and in the top i will have to call i will have to write the path http and then into the controllers there was admin panel and into the admin panel there was admin controller so similarly for the vendor panel i call the vendor controller here the path of the vendor controller vendor panel and then it is vendor controller so like this now my route is defined i am going to copy this and if i go 
to here and in my uh, URL I put it admin dashboard you see that it is working this is admin dashboard and in the case of vendor dashboard you see this is the vendor dashboard but I want that a person will not be able to see this dashboard until he log in I, you see that now I am not logged in but I can see those pages so in order to apply that you see that there is a default middleware that is auth middleware that was created when I installed the breeze so I call that uh, middleware here that means like this I am going to copy all the things from here and uh, I put my codes here that means into the auth middleware if I write these codes I could write these codes here but I am just going to make it a separate section so here I just write, write like that so here if I now want to access the uh, admin panel like this admin login you see that this uh, sorry not admin login admin dashboard uh, here dashboard like this you see that it is taking you back to the login page that means you will not be able to see that page normally similarly if i want to access the vendor dashboard it is taking back you to the login in the next video i will show you how to create the role middleware and how to work with that